All right, in our previous video, we replaced the capacitors on this Xbox, and we're going to continue by replacing the clock capacitor. And of course, we'll be installing these two items right here. I'm just gonna heat up one side and pull it through, and then heat up the other side and pull it through. And there we are. So it's a one microfarad 2.5 volt, and I already happen to have them out of the bag, so it's one of these super caps, as you can tell. And of course our trusty friend of Let It Solder, because we don't want to be ROHS compliant over here. So now that we have the capacitor out of the way, we're going to install the Aladdin XD Plus 2. Before we do that, we need to install this right here. So we'll go ahead and get that going next. All right, so you're going to want to align this because you will not really get another chance after this is done. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and bolt this down. And that moved on me. Now, if you're not sure on the placement, we can put this guy in there, and it does sit in there just fine, as you can tell. I don't like how that looks, but we'll come back and touch it up here in a second. That one was a little bit nicer. There we go. And we'll go ahead and bridge this point here. So we're just gonna tack down one or two points first and then we'll go ahead and add our flux and get the rest of them going. What a difference that flux makes, huh? And if I remember correctly with our modification that we've done to the back, this right here should work perfectly without having to do anything else. And I've already pre-flashed this with the 128 MB BIOS, uh, at least the OS, so we'll see how that goes. All right, looks like it's booting in. All right, now I'd perform the 128 MB RAM test on this thing, but we don't have the RAM in there yet. Let's go ahead and prep our RAM brick areas, make sure they're clean, free of dust and debris. That way we can have them ready for the new modules that we're gonna install. We'll begin by flooding them with alcohol and brushing them down. You could probably get away with a can of air or something else, it's, it's really up to you. And now we're gonna take our RAMs out of here. So we have the um, K4D263238F-QC50. We have the UC50 here that we're gonna be using. Now some of these RAM bricks that you'll receive, they're not always in the greatest of condition from China. I don't know what it is. When I was ordering my first couple batches of these, they were in great condition, but now it looks like they're a little bit, um, it's the word isn't corroded. It's more of just tarnished, I guess. So sometimes the solder doesn't adhere and it ends up being a pain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack down a couple of corners first. Probably shouldn't do this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It actually looks pretty good. So let's do one more corner before we progress with the rest. We'll do this side here. All right, looks like we're locked in. It's supposedly pin 28 over here that you don't want to have smashed down because that's going to be your chip select. But otherwise, I'm going to put these all down. So what we're going to do is we're going to add solder and flux to the rest of these pins, and then we're going to go ahead and take care of our corners. I'm not really too concerned that I have a bunch of bridges at the moment. We're gonna clean all that up here in a minute. Go ahead and add our solder to this side over here. I think I'm also gonna lower down our temperature on our soldering iron. We were sporting 450. I don't really think that's necessary and we could have bad things happen if you leave it there, so. Now we're gonna remove the excess solder. So I'm gonna add a bit of flux all over this chip. And I probably shouldn't have started this project towards the end of the day, but we'll be back with the rest of this. We're back on yet another day. We're gonna start off fresh by continuing what we were doing prior with this RAM brick. It's about ready to say that bridge just will not go away. I'm sure it'll come back here in a minute. 
Yeah, performing this mod reminds me of the, the NAND witch that I used to do for the 360s. That was back before the Executor came out with their demon chip. Looks like we're good on this one. And this is where we have our pin 28 that we'll need to lift. There's just no other way to do this, but I have to use my right hand, and I'm not a righty. All right, now we need to go ahead and lift pin 28. We have 30, 29, 28. So third from last, we're gonna wanna lift that one up. And I probably could use some really fine tweezers for this part. I just wanna dislodge it for a second. We'll go ahead and pull that out. You wanna be gentle with this because bad stuff could happen at this portion of the install and we definitely don't want that to be happening. All right, so that is now touching. It means we're all good. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and perform the next most intense portion of this install, which is making sure all the pins are attached to the bottom chip. First, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning. We're gonna make sure that we don't have any shorts. Then we're gonna attach that wire to pin 28 and hook up this Xbox and verify that RAM brick is installed properly. Let's start with this corner here. Looking pretty good so far. Let's see here. And those look like they move. Yeah, those move. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to install some solder to those. So if you take a look here, they've moved on us. So we're gonna wanna straighten those out real quick with our dental tool, and then we'll re-solder them. use some really fine tweezers to take care of these just because of the fact that they're getting stuck in the crevices in the back. All right, and we have our fancy tweezers here. So there it is. Doesn't look the greatest, but uh, you know, we'll see what we can do here. Well, we'll probably just go over all the legs, smash them down. Usually I'd be afraid to do this because of the traces below or the pads below because I've seen them float out and then you end up having some dislodged pads. Still have a problem right there. And is this one moving? So what I'll do is I'll apply some pressure to it while I'm putting some solder in there. Looks good. All right, so that's two sides. Now we have this side right here to double check. Is right over here. I mean, this corner already looks pretty bad to me. All right, let's go ahead and add solder to those because we already know they're not in.
we're gonna smash this one down that way it'll touch. Well, I might have to actually use a wire. Ah, look at that. CPU one always comes off pretty easy, the GPU one not so much. So we're gonna use some heat so that we can lift that off. And it comes right off. Next we'll be removing this plastic here. I guess it's like a retention harness for the heat sinks. And that just uses side cutters and you just gently slide underneath here and they'll pop right off. And you do that with all of these. And now you'll wanna pop these through. All right, so we're gonna hold this one down with some tape, just like that. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take a look at the back and the solder of the other side. So this particular wire goes right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. We just finished hooking up the Xbox and we did our initial test after the first RAM install and it shows a success over here. So we'll progress to the next ones. All right, and we're back. Come on, you bastard. I should have just left it. It would have been nicer. Some of it is good. We'll just tag it down real quick. Wow, it decided to move last second. Jeez, you believe that? Got some spillage over here. Yeah, everything's set. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add some flux. I'm gonna use a blade to hold down the pins. All right, we might need a little bit more flux, and I'll make one more pass over this without the blade. And I gotta say, it looks a lot better than our first RAM brick. And it goes to that pad right there. All right. to test this one out. Looking like RAM chip two and three are good now. We've successfully completed the installation of four RAM bricks onto this Xbox 1.6. In our next video, we're gonna install this right here, an Xbox HD Plus. See you next time.